a good one, actually. That's Collapse showing himself. And this bounty will be given up for Team Spirit. I mean, I'd say Maposhka's early performance and... Yeah. Jesus. Mirror, yeah, it's gonna TP back as Collapse is playing with early boars, so it's gonna have to look at using that against the Undying. Maposhka with the early heal, so... I'd say most of the cores are gonna be pretty happy this game, but... I'm still, Yatoro's lane here against the Axe. This is not a good matchup for your Faceless Void. Maposhka taking a ton of damage. And this is after the massive three base damage nerf to Techies. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't picked at all in the early yeah. stage of the round. I don't understand. And now it's picked every game. I was saying it the whole time. You remember me you, Yeah, it. you were right. You're just too good. He was barely touched. Yeah, you're correct. He barely. <laughs> barely touched. Three damage. It there, matters. There were some other things. I mean, it does add up. It makes him slightly worse, but still very good hero. And early laning stage. Yatoro definitely getting some decent damage off for now. I think this level 3 4 timing. Definitely going to be very BBT favored. Yeah. Up here. And mid matchup, too, that did end up picking the. Oh. Boar. <laughs> you really, you're really obsessed with the boars early on. They give a lot of golden XP. Like, if you kill a hog early game, you might just want to call GG. Okay. It's more XP than a lane creep. Did you know that? No, I did not. There you go. I also didn't care. <laughs> to know that. Well, this is why you're so stupid. You just don't <laughs> learn anything ever. That's right. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, as Matrix once told me. Here. Here. Really excited to see what he can do on this hero. Ooh, One of the more Mopochka. exciting heroes in Black. Oh, the blast off is there to connect onto Mapochka. And he will drop to the deck. Yatoro trying to get some sort of trade, but ain't happening. I mean, this is like the lane that feels very hard in general. It does. Especially with. Faceless Void in general does not like damage over time. I know it's only a level one battle, yeah. but it is no, it freaking matters. annoying. No, it absolutely matters. And early on, Pure got his Ring of Health. They got the Lotus on safe as well. He instantly solves up as well after the play. So Yatoro going to have to pop his own healing solve in return as safe gets rooted in the back. You, you deserve nothing. Died worse. 11 denies on Axe. As the Illusion Rune will be spawning top, so not the most high impact uh, for a first power rune. Yeah, as Laurel, I think he's debating. Yeah, he was debating where to TP. Does end up TPing top at the end of all of it with a lot of slows. Oh no, he hurricane himself. They are super slow. Laurel. Oh, no. Not really gonna hit a beautiful blast off. Nice call. To counteract this. GPK is there as well. Down goes Yatoro. And Laurel finally gets off his ult. That's a disaster. Will be superior if they get there without bleeding too much in this game. Toronto Tokyo trying to defend the tier one tower. Oh. The call from Pure trying to get some second shots. Way ah. choppity chop number two. Setting himself up for the magic number of eight chops, of course, for the level 20 talent. <laughs> oh, Hex. Oh, we got a Hex initiation. Yotaro's here. He still has Chrono available. Chrono. Spend it with the finger of death. Is it enough? Oh. Yes. GPK goes down, but there's, there's a war. initiation now whoa, whoa, whoa. from Pure. Not able to go any further, though. Yotaro basically backtracks most of that with the time walk. Safe. And they get enough distance. Indeed, they can. And actually, oh, Toronto. Axe is starting to stack up on Toronto Tokyo, despite being in the place earlier. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, Pure just needs a little bit of vision. Gets the call off with the blade mail to follow. GPK is there with a little bit of help from his teammates. No calling like this time, though. Dies a little bit too fast, but he could reserve it for Yotaro, potentially. Actually, already used it, it looks like. So it's on cooldown. And Yatoro finds the distance. Oh. You can see GPK gets off another Searing Gate. And Pure with a beautiful call on top of Creeps, which means lots and lots of from Spirit. And that gives them a sliver of hope. Well, it's only a 3k lead, making it sound worse than it is. Actually, but a Chrono on Spirit. Tokyo. I mean, Yatoro will oh, definitely well, just take so a free kill. It'll be an eventual kill here, but now that means... And the gym! Okay, that's a big one, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely worth it. I was gonna say, they're not gonna have Chrono for the potential Roche taking from... They got this one. They absolutely have it. Aegis will be going to Team Spirit. Yatoro takes it. Now trying to disengage, but GPK gets a nice searing chains onto Collapse. I mean, if that's all they lose, still worth it. Oh, he's initiated on. That's a shield rune you gotta get through. They're gonna get Man, through quite easily. Chop number six for pure. Meta used as well. One of the pure TP bottom. He wants one. Yeah, he's gonna get another double kill across the map. GPK gets a nice double searing chains. Mira looks to likely be dead here. Dead. Mana Drain will not save you, pure. Oh my god. 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 
God Pure! What an absolute beast! Will he get his seventh calling play Ataro? No mana. There's the mana. Still alive. Has his chrono available. He really wants to try to use it in a defensive way. He's gonna run right into the tombstone, man. But pure outside of the chrono. No chop this time because he just dies too damn fast. Folks on both sides. Very pivotal moment in this game number three. And the winner of this faces off against Liquid in the upper bracket finals. You basically secure top three of this. So you have a smoke from B-Boom. And they also have a pretty aggressive board. And Spirit, uh oh, they find the Poshka. Oh, from Pure onto the Enchantress. Down she goes. Oh, that's a good roll. Oh, oh, getting a nice roll onto several heroes. Jatoro gets the Chrono Spear onto three. No Your time dead. for the grab ally. Already several heroes dead for B-Boom. And now Mira. Getting quite low, the slide of is gonna finish him off his GPK, forcing the rest of Spear back as double buyback from B. But just combine two different names, but we'll go with it. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, Spear dropping a ward, and they're looking. Draw to Tokyo. Oh, the That's wall is there. BB. That's gonna be a very easy one. That means no tombstone available. Oh, BKB uses well here from Nightfall. And Yatora focusing on Nightfall right now, gets the bonus here. Oh, oh. This will be a huge kill of Vayne. 20%, 20%, 20 get off the Sunder. He is dead. GPK. GPK is there to finish off Laurel. Pops his BKB now. Trying to focus down the Beastmaster. He's all alone in the base, though. GPK, slight remnant away. For an aggressive move. Blink on Toronto, Tokyo. So he has the blink Radiant's save aspect to his hero now. Many buybacks are sure. available. Pops. Oh. Yatara. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the chrono there. He was debating it. It's never been way showing himself. Gets off his Shiva. He's going in oh, really GPK. deep onto the high ground. Pops his BKB. Matoshka looks to be dead to rights. And GPK forcing everybody back. Another beautiful zero. Chains onto two. Is he going to be out of mana though? Focusing everything in onto Mira. Oh, oh, oh no. the counter initiation but is completely dodged. And now Yatara with the chrono. Grab ally. But the grab ally. I saved him through the finger, it looks like. The roar comes out onto GPK. He gets soul rips to soul rip to a healthy amount of HP. And now they, they start now. Roche up. There's only one way that Ooh, Mirox team can come from. The remnant is there from GPK. Roche taking a little bit of damage. They're gonna scout it out as Yatoro. Time dilation not really there's a roll or right? using the rolling thunder. Mira caught on the back line. He's dead. No he buyback, no buyback. as well. GPK forced to BKB. Have to run it out. The Gladiator on Tiotori is going to disassociate the Satanic. Gets off the BKB. Time walks away. Oh, Pure! Coming out from Pure onto two. Another chop comes from him. And there's the Chrono onto two. Is the Toro trying to get something out of it? But the amount of... The shard from Pure actually makes him do no damage to him. He just continued to attack him. That's a buyback onto the Enchantress Ooh. now. Collapse spotted, but able to get out. And this looks like a Roche for B-Box team. Oh my god, they Radiant they cannot fight. The GPK just going ham. Pure finds a great call on two. And Yatoro can't kill him. There's no way. Like the shard with all the dunk stacks too on the armor. Yeah, that is absurd. I mean, GPK, oh, honestly, just going ham in I'm not fight. sure if we had Yatoro clicked while he was attacking, but I'm interested to see. Level 25, so that's going to help. Lower cooldown as well on the... Oh, he goes Bandit Duration and not Sunder. I kind of like it, because I feel like now you can poke the high ground, and just like, you just have more time to right. get through this play. I guess he bought an Aghanim Scepter as well at some point, huh? I want to see maybe he got it from Roche. Oh, I thought no, he's higher net worth now than oh, yeah, GPK. Right. I feel like he got it from right, Roche. That, that other Roche had Ags as well, I yeah. forgot. So he has Terra Wave to work with. Pretty damn powerful. And Yatoro jumping in instantly gets all of his five four pops in for three. But a nice rolling thunder into the Chronosphere. Yatoro gets the Aegis down. And now the focus is on Axe. They finally get the kill. He's disarmed right now. So Yatoro going in and out as Nightfall in melee. Poshka. We'll get the Terra Wave off as the buyback from Pure comes through. I don't understand how Spear are able to defend in these situations like this. Despite being down this much gold, honestly, he'll be happy with those. As it's been Polska, the they're not ready to one. fight. Not on the tier five items. They're not getting Laurel. Gets off the rolling thunder. GPK oh. able to dodge it. Dodge the block. Not going to really connect. Night got one pro. Oh, he to jumps GPK. over. BKB forced from Nightfall. Ooh. They're trying to take out this rolling thunder target. He got and no fire fly, no shield crash at all. He gets it up, but he's dead. Hundred seconds of no pango. Laurel uh -oh. grave. You might find Maposhka as well. The four step. Not going to get to the other side of the trees, but it's still got Roach. Roach was alive apparently. Well, no Toro one. with the Aegis. Oh. I think he got the Aghanim Scepter. There's too many items to talk about. But Poshka, he's going to drop to the Meteor Hammer. Link Dagger thingy, cold the Fallen Sky. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> this is actually the first turbo match game in the history of Dota. That's why everybody's so far. Yeah. That's right. Fallen Sky. Instant Hex, though. Doing some damage to the buildings. Just kidding. Didn't actually touch the melee racks at all. And Zutaro. Wait. Is that a block of cheese or is that a shield room? Okay, that's a shield room. That's a shield room. <laughs> My mind is going other places. It's the only item we haven't seen this game in Toro. Oh. I mean, Pior's waiting. He's looking for the chrono potential. Dude, this has this should be a skin. Oh, Pior oh. on to face the floor. Oh, Pior jumps in instantly. Chrono There's the chrono. Fallen Sky from GPK into the grab, grab, grab ally. We'll save him for the time being. And Pior, is he going to have another oh, No, the roar is there. He's dead. The GPK has his buyback available up to two minutes. Otherwise, collapse. Uses oh, the pressure. GPK ah! is getting promised on. He's hacked. He's all alone. He's what hacked. are they doing? GPK is dead. They do they get got the racks. one melee rack. Oh, bash, 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 bash. Nine fall. Oh, they get bash. Do they have the vision? He's invincible. They will. He gets one kill on the way Sunder. out. No sunder for him. Three dead. Fourteen B blops. Holy Sixty-two. Base. Okay, so these racks are exposed and Megas. I mean, they do. I'm not gonna say they don't matter. They do, but they kind of matter. Oh, this guy has no buyback. Save your president. Yeah, Fallen Sky is there, and you can't. Looks like oh, Terraways comes out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gets a nice initiation onto the second support in the form of Mira. Enchanter's dead for two minutes. Lion does have pushing. Boots of Travel 2 are available. Man, these Eastern European games, I can't take them, man. This is insane. Yotoro showing up on the doorstep. GPK sees it. Satanic with lost spell. Nightfall showing up. Does he have Terra Wave available? Ooh, look at this kill. Call from Pure. Not a call. Reflection call. into another call. That's a dead, faceless void. Still maintains buyback, Ooh. though. Lara, <laughs> this is the first time a second purchase refresher has been built. He hits so fast. Yeah, yeah. and now they're oh, starting oh, to oh. make these buildings finally. Fallen Sky is there for GPK. Lara oh, getting oh, up. Oh, Thunder oh. actually controlling pretty well. Nightfall. Fail first damage for the Terra Blade, but not able to finish him off. Toronto Tokyo is there with the BKB just to look very powerful indeed. Oh, face destroys. He's still up. 45 seconds away. And you're getting a nice call. The fire was a mirror shield. Life near on tip two. GPK trying to make as much space while his team takes out this rack. Yeah, Toro really wants to hold on to his yeah, buyback here. Tell, but might be baiting them in. Maybe this gives a false sense of security. Oh, here comes the side of BBK. Necronomicons. Yeah, fear comes out. Nightfall able to get off. There's only one range right spot after this. Mira. Getting gone on, but Mapush gets the hex on the GPK. The building's still exposed. They're gonna finish off this melee rack, so there's the roar onto the Terra Blade. Is there a save to come? Where's the grab ally? After all of this. Finally pops the BKB, get the Satanic, trying to get the blade. So they have to call onto the Pangolier. It's face up, he's dead. Does have buyback. And now face the Void is on. B-Box team needs to get the hell out of here. Mapush is sad. This is the long New record, baby. High now. five. High five. Let's go. We did it. All us. I mean, GPK has no buyback, as Yotoro isn't even level 30 yet out of all of this. Oh, 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 oh. Blast off into the hex. Pure. Oh, the he doesn't hit his call at all. Yotoro gets forced up in the meantime with the BKB now trying to focus on Pure. He's going to get a little coming in. in as a result of the rolling thunder. Controlling oh, 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 the Tokyo gets off his BKB. He's getting nullified and chased, so they can't get the grab ally online. And now the hex with another blast off from Sigma. Oh, trying to save his terribly, but he's dead. Has buyback available. Grab ally. I don't think he actually caught anybody. And then Techie is dead. This might be over. Oh, they're Team Spirit. Dreams. They're rolling everybody up. Their buybacks are still intact for a couple of heroes. As Boombox teams need to use everything they have now. Refresher <laughs> are available. Nightfall. Nightfall. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. It's in and hit him. Nightfall getting off the sun. But now he's roared. Gets forced out to the other side. He's getting kited to a high degree. Axe has come out. On? He's sheep. He's stunned <laughs> on top of it. He's called <laughs> Team Spirit somehow. These guys are this series two to one, and they're gonna face Team Liquid in the upper bracket finals. My goodness, can I don't even know if the next games can be any better than what.